smile. <laughs> I'm videoing. Oh, you're video. And here <laughs> I am talking about smile. So we'll let this marinate. We'll let it do its business. Now what we're going to do is cut up some vegetables. The one thing when you're doing um, the mise en place, the setup, okay, is that you're not grabbing a recipe and going, okay, what do I need? Oh, four cups of flour. So off you go to get the flour, right? You measure it out, put it in a bowl, and then you're like, all right, what's next? Oh, baking powder. Off you go to get the baking powder. You measure it out, put it in a bowl. Then the next thing, you know, vanilla or whatever it is. You do your dry ingredients, and then you do... This way, you've got everything measured out, okay? And that way, I can grab things, stand here, do one project at a time. Um, it, you know, cookie sheets are a great way. Anything that you can use um, to separate things. So I got my vegetables on a, on one little tray, um, and then all my dry ingredients on another. My utensils are already put aside. And then if you guys want the recipe for the pajan, um, Ms. Glass has it already from last year. But she also, I will make sure that she's got the meat on plot. So it'll give you a list of all the tools you need the ingredients, and then the recipe is like how to make it together, how to throw it all together. So the next step is we're going to cut up some vegetables, okay, and um, scallions, just a mild green onion. We have some mohawks here that got to go, and some ohawks, so we're just going to cut their heads off, okay. And we're not going to do anything fancy as far as knife cuts with the green onion. I'm just going to slice them up and hope not to take off another fingernail. A lot of people don't like to use the green part of your green onion, but it's, I mean, use it. It's more of a milder green onion flavor, but great. Taking video when I've got my finger cut on today. I'll check it behind. <laughs> there we go. And then just like to like the last, probably the last inch or so, that way you can, you can throw that off. Okay. And then we just again got our onion done. We can grab a little prep bowl. Get our scraper. Always set the knife blade away from you as you are working in the kitchen. So scoop up your onion. Okay. And then we'll set that off to the side. And then do a little wipe down. Okay, so we don't cross contaminate. We've got the sink right there, so we can just toss everything in. Now we're going to Julian cut some zucchini. And this is an organic zucchini. It's the only one I could find that was big. The other ones are like little teeny tiny. So we're going to um, cut the butt off because we don't need that part. Okay, just make a nice straight cut. Oh. <laughs> And then what we're going to do is I'm going to make some poker slices, basically. Poker chip slices. Okay, this is... Try to keep them about the same width. You get a little older, you start needing glasses to see this stuff close up. I think that's good. That was probably a little too thin. And then I'm just going to stack these up. Okay, so I can fan them out. Line, line it up along the edge of my knife. What I kind of do also is to get them to lay kind of flat. So you guys see that? Then it's lined up. Then you're just going to hold them down. Try to get your fingers out of the way. And then just cut across the top of them, creating a nice julienne cut, which is that French fry. Your French fries are the julienne cut. Okay? It gets a little harder with some of these rounder pieces, so you might just have to pull them out, give them their own little special attention. So there you go. What I like about this is you get a little bit of that nice green skin on either end. You're not losing any of the nutritional value of it, but you're also, again, creating a bite-sized piece. Okay, so some of these pieces that are a little bit your half moon shapes, depending on how thick they are, just go through. The most important thing is to just be efficient, take your time, put a little music on, you know. So we'll float your boat. And now we've got our zoops are done. Oh, they look so pretty. We'll wipe down, set the blade away, grab a target bowl for these guys. We'll scoop them up. Everybody's going. No party poopers. There we go. And we'll just toss them in there. And 
now that's done, now we can move on to our next vegetable, our red bell peppers. You guys know that red bell peppers are one of the top five superfoods? Three times the amount of vitamin C in one of these guys. Your yellow, your orange bell peppers also, three times the amount of vitamin C. Um, 